Hello, duckies, and welcome back to Wildflowers. My name's Hyola. If you like what you see, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help the channel. Continuing to make myself a ton of levitation potions. This I needed Just that first, and then I'll use this. Took the last two days. Ugh. Do what I can do. Oh, I can. But there is good news, guys, and that is that I have enough for the barn. Oh, my gosh. Only problem is I don't think Parker is open on the weekends, and it is a Saturday. So there's that. Oh out anyway because this guy decided to sh show up in my space oh actually why did I do that things I want oh I haven't used that spell before I should have let it play sorry guys yes. oh my gosh yes Oh, this makes it so much easier. Easier. So much better, so much easier. I can just run around areas. Oh, this is amazing. No more having to bend down to get things. No more having to stop and click on things. You have to kind of slow down a little bit and make sure you're actually getting the item. Tara, what's wrong? We had to close our stand. Mom says there's not enough water to spare for our lemonade. Ugh, it's so hot. I actually can't wait for school to start. Things are getting pretty bad. 
I know everybody is suffering because of all this and all that and da 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 da, da and I get it. But what can I do about it? Venus is already fully upgraded. Parker is sitting right there because he's closed for the day. Grandma, what do I do? I miss you, Grandma. Oh, this let summer go on so long that we're all about to to dehydrate. <laughs> That's my. Epic, absolutely epic use. So, are you staying on now? If you're selling the <laughs> farm, I might know an interested buyer. Too soon? Yep, I would say so. All right, let's make sure we talk to as many people as we can right now. So, the what happened to your friends back in the city, huh? You gonna go visit them this summer? A lot of them moved away before I did. It's expensive living in the city. Expensive? It's friggin' criminal. I've looked up the rent costs. I thought that old bridge was never going to get fixed up. That thing was built steady as a tree trunk, but it collapsed anyway. Always wondered if someone tinkered with the supports. Maybe when school starts again, I'll do a unit on farm animal biology, and we can visit Marty's calves and chicks. Oh. But then I'll have to cover what happens to those calves and chicks. Oh, on second thought, we'll stick to the textbooks. I'm not complaining. The extra business I'm getting from this heat spell is great, but I'll run out of ice soon if it doesn't rain. When it's warm, Shelby sometimes hangs out on the beach while I'm there. Some people don't like him, but like, pfft, why? We just sit there and vibe. And then he says something deep, and I nod. It's copacetic. Have you met the new rancher yet? He is the cutest little baby chicks. Finn accidentally let them out of their cage, but we caught them all before he noticed. Have you ever seen a dry spell like this on the island before, Lena? A few years back we did, but that was the first time I can recall. Thomas even had to dig his well deeper. It's strange that it's happened again so soon. Every year I get less hype for the summer festival. I'd like it more if I didn't have to hang out with Juliet and the twins. Not that there's anything wrong with them. They're just... younger. Let me talk at you. You look sad. What's up, Parker? Yeah, uh, well, yesterday was the summer block party in my old neighborhood. Most years I go back to the city for it, but... I have too many projects right now. I had Emmy and Finn help me flip burgers and make punch, but it wasn't the same.
Sometimes working next to Francis is frustrating, but then I see him through the window and I'm like, who is that dashing man with the loop? Oh yeah, my fiance. <laughs> They're so adorable together. Hi, Cameron. Hi there, Tara. I thought you could use this. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. It's important for the League to give back to this community that has welcomed us with open arms. If you're ever in need, come by the Consciousness Center on Wednesdays and Sundays, and I should have more to give out, at least for the time being. The League's charitable funds are a finite resource as well, truth be told. Things are getting... Parker comes to the Consciousness Center almost every week. I love it. He says he asks Lena to come, but she's too busy. Well, no one's too busy for the Book of the Mind. Spoken like a man with no children. Children? Then wait up. Chicks are small, but they can still run pretty fast. Especially when you're chasing them. Don't tell Marty that. I'm pretty sure he probably knows. I'm ready for it to be fall. It's peak pie season after all. Anybody else out? I can talk to. Blueberries, I can gather. I should go talk to Wesley. And all of them before. Well, I mean, it is getting late, but either way. Let's go and talk to them. Wesley, have you ever heard of any other place that has to change their seasons? Not exactly. But in one of Shakespeare's plays, the Queen of the Fae has a speech about the seasons changing when they shouldn't. And the cause? Too much Fae magic. Sorry if I made you uncomfortable before. If I'd known you were the last goblin... Ah, no need to get your gears out of joint. <laughs> you didn't know. <laughs> Ravenwood Hollow's nice and all, but it's more isolated than goblins like to be. We're a social people. <laughs> Over time, plenty of folks left for goblin outposts elsewhere. <laughs> Not me, though. Humans have terrible senses of humor. I asked a flock of sparrows who had recently eaten to fly over the leader in your town, but he didn't even laugh when the birds let loose. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's funny. So do I. <laughs> Are the humans staying clear of the coven circle? It isn't safe for them. If you see anyone who isn't a witch pass through the brambles, you must tell me, witchling. So there were a few people I didn't get to hit with that. Um, the mayor, Kim, Giva.
And I believe that charm potions wear off when you go to sleep, so... So I can make quite a few. Magic back. <clears throat> and then again to come right back home. And let's get some sleep. this six and a half more hours Does it work on animals? Oh, apparently it does. That's pretty nice.
really good thing to know. That the Charms potion works on animals too. Not just humans. I asked Marty how many animals he planned to have. He said as many as possible. Does he know what all that runoff will do to my soil? Ew. Your animals are adorable. Mm-hmm. The good book says, while it is important to build a healthy working relationship with your animals, you should not become overly attached to meat animals. The good book says that? My handbook from my course, Ranch Dressing, How to Look and Act oh, the God. Part. It's a really good book. Ranch Dressing? <laughs> I think that book or something else entirely. Oh boy. Ooh. Hey, Kim. Any luck today? Uh, not yet. I come out just to relax, really. I tried to drag my ex out on fishing charters when I lived in the city, but she got terribly seasick the first time and refused to come out on the water again. Vomit makes good chum. Hey, vomit makes good chum. That is disgusting. And also very true. It's not every day I run into a girl who knows what chum is. I'm impressed. Things are fine with my ex. <laughs> We're still friends. She got custody of the cat, but I still visit him whenever I'm back in town. No way. You gave up the cat? Eh, I was allergic anyway. Um. Well. There's a stray around here. I feed it fish scraps and pet it sometimes. Then I wash my hands like I'm scrubbing into surgery. All the kitty companionship. None of the constant sneezing. It's a win-win. Well, thanks for keeping me company out here. It's nice to have a new friend who's not completely turned off by fish hooks and cut bait. Maybe next time you can tell me your tales of romantic woe. <laughs> Looking at Otto, you'd never guess he used to work summers at the bait shop. <laughs> he did? Really? <laughs> yeah. I needed the help. And uh, it was nice having him around. Two pearls. Wow. Francis, I found two pearls. Oh, great. Now we have someone raising a bunch of animals nearby? Hey, what's wrong with animals? Nothing. It's just that my neighbor used to keep them. Mm -hmm. Does he mean a hoarder situation? Keep them or Do you think Miss Joshi would make baking soda volcanoes with us? Mrs. Soft says they're too messy for the classroom. But who cares if you make an explosion? <laughs> The new rancher really picked an unlucky moment to move in. Animals need so much water. He's come by every day asking for more, but I only get so much from milk water, and I've got to save some for the humans. <laughs> you know, I liked the Consciousness Center at first. It's a good place to sit and think. And the piano, uh, organ, keyboard, whatever, is wicked cool. But... Cameron keeps trying to get me to read the Book of the Mind, and that is not happening. I'm... I've been looking for you forever. Where have you been hiding? 
Oh, wait. Actually, I also want those. Gimme. Oh, yes, I can sell. More chocolate. There we go. Mom said it would be good for me to go to the beach since it's so nice out. But what would I do? Like sit on a towel and stare at the water? Yeah. Is that a problem? I like to sit on towels and stare at the water. Particularly if it's a nice quiet day. Marty got a degree in raising animals, but he never actually raised any. College doesn't make any sense. No, college doesn't make sense. Unless there's some actual active, in, in, like, hands-on work involved. There's a lot of stuff that, that doesn't make sense. That lady moved into the old fire watch tower is nice. She makes science seem so interesting. I kind of wish she was a teacher. I finally got to walk up to the mountain pass, and I saw all kinds of wildflowers. I didn't even recognize all of them. Thanks for your help in fixing up that bridge. Everyone in town is gonna love it up there. Soft, very soft. Not talking to you it's about nice the water to see situation. Parker I know. Lena teaching their kids to run a business. That's how we'll keep that entrepreneurial spirit strong in Fairhaven for the next generation. Giva said none of her instruments predicted the rain we just had. I hope our weirdo island doesn't break her brain. <laughs> Don't worry, it will. You know, when Thomas first started coming into my diner, he always took the seat at that booth that faced Lena's store, but now sometimes he sits at the counter instead. Still doesn't say much, though. them all. I just want to get the last recipe. <laughs> the last bit of the store open. Come on. Mira's not here because she is in the woods. It's a perfect day, messenger. What's got you down? Oh, um, I just got a text from an old friend of mine. Uh, Tammy played my sister on the sitcom I starred in as a kid. She booked a role in the next big superhero movie. <laughs> I'm happy for her, but sometimes I wonder what would have happened if I'd stayed in Hollywood. Would that be me? Hi, Tara. Good to see you here. D do you come often? Uh, not really. Well, that's okay. Everyone has to walk the path at their own pace, as Messenger Cameron says. I grew up going to Mass, so it took me a while to feel comfortable here, knowing my parents won't approve. And Francis's snarky remarks don't help. No. Hey, you're entitled to your beliefs. Don't worry about what others think. Don't worry about what others think? Hello? Have you even met me? <laughs> I can't help it. But you're right. I shouldn't care so much. Look. I feel real acceptance here. Like, I can be in charge of my own destiny, you know? It's about hope. Still there, so that's still active. Yeah, I'm sure Gibba didn't track the last rainstorm that we had, because I did. That was all me. There's a mirror. Generally around here somewhere. There she is. Oh, hello! Enjoying the woods? 
I like to walk along the shore of the lake. Sometimes I get lucky. Oh, sounds like you have more fun here than I do. <laughs> no, I just meant that there are some native plants here with good natural anti-inflammatory properties. So why are you in the woods today? Mm. Looking for wildflowers. I've been looking for some wildflowers, but I think I've already found the most beautiful one. <laughs> oh my. Uh, uh, you nope, are that's not what I meant. You. Well, I want to be available to my patients whenever they need me, but sometimes I just need a quiet place to reflect. And for some reason, a lot of people here seem to be wary of these woods, so it's a good place to go for some space. Would you keep my secret spot to yourself? I have certain patients who will track me down every time they have a cough. What secret spot? <laughs> Thanks. I can tell you're an easy person to trust. What, I want. what did you think of Otto's speech, Shelby? I don't like it. I've seen this all before, even after the war. When there were troubles, whoever was in charge would point to us as the source of their problems. That's what they do. So their people don't notice their failure at managing things is the real reason. It does have a point. Let's go up there. <laughs> Just to see. Aha. Uh -huh. Open to them? Uh -huh. Give her. I spoke with Thomas about the drought, and he said he had to dig his well deeper just a few years ago. Strange that the aquifers could deplete so quickly. Uh, yeah, strange. Aquifers. What? I need to go to Ravenwood. I keep forgetting. That should have been the first place I hit. Get in my bag. Darn mushrooms. It's closed. Yeah. Yep, it should have come. The at least Monday he is open. I liked Hazel so much, you know. Before I came here, I had trouble finding a place for myself. But Hazel. She made this island feel like home. Yeah. She had that effect on people. You look tired today. I am. I stayed up late because I thought I had a real breakthrough on my Nimbus cloud condenser. But I ended up with a mechanical breakdown, not a breakthrough. <laughs> Do you ever visit our town? You know, at, at night, maybe? Yes, but only when a great need arises and I must save a creature. Otherwise, the crabs and chipmunks are my eyes and ears. <laughs> On occasion, I am tempted to reveal my identity to the rest of you humans. But then I remember how downright odd humans are. That League of the Mind, for example. Who would believe in that nonsense? I didn't realize you kept up with the news in Fairhaven. I don't. 
Wesley is our eyes and ears. Oh, now it's evening, so I can get over there. And let's see. Take one of those. Craft one of those. I do not have the magic for that. I need to get the magic for that. I need a bunch of these. Let's go get some more magic. Flowers seem to be our best option. Yeah, I have a theory that the chess in The mines might need... Oh gosh, this is a longer video, isn't it, guys? Mainly because I was talking to a bunch of people. The chests in the mine might need... These... So that's why I'm making a bunch of levels. One piece of paper left and a bunch of magic left. Alright. So that is going to be it for today's episode, guys. Is it time for bed? Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos. And remember to free the feral wildflower in you. Bye-bye.